welcome. Uh, my name is Mike Rowan, and I'm chairman of the Hopkinton Historical Commission. We uh, met last night in town hall, and we had several agenda items. Um, the first agenda item we were to discuss was the proposed demolition of 48 and 52 Main Street and 6 Cedar Street, uh, commonly known as Kate's, Kate's Pharmacy. So um, a developer had submitted a demolition application. However, that was rescinded. But um, I do believe that property is subject to development. And um, frankly, as someone who wants to see the downtown area restored to some of its uh, previous um, uh, scale and, and uh, dominance, I'd welcome uh, a multi-story structure on that site. I think it's a good opportunity. Uh, if you look at photos and um, images of downtown Hopkinton 100 years ago, you'll see there were quite a few uh, three-story uh, plus uh, um, buildings uh, fronting Main Street. So that would be a good thing. Uh, however, they retracted the demo application, so no action was taken. Uh, the second item on the agenda last night was 12 Mount Auburn Street. It is a single family residence that currently has no power to it and um, unfortunately has suffered from neglect for multiple years. Uh, the commission, uh, in their due diligence to determine whether it was a significant structure, whether it was a historical um, or had any uh, value um, as a structure to be retained. We we looked at old historical surveys and it was not recorded on any previous survey. Uh, we looked at the neighborhood and unfortunately it really doesn't establish any consistent pattern with the neighborhood. It's a pretty unique street. Um, Mount Auburn Street and Mayhew Street have houses that one faces one more street and the other faces the other. So it does not really have an established streetscape. And because of that, I think that the um, historical commission felt that there was really not a lot of redeeming value uh, with the current property. So we, um, we declined to uh, determine that it had uh, a historical significance and uh, so the applicant is free to continue to proceed with the demolition of that structure. Um, I presume they will be replacing it with another single family residence, but I have no um, detailed information on that. So that's 12 Mount Auburn Street. Um, we did also talk quite a bit about the historical society structure. Um, that structure, as many people know, was an old schoolhouse that has been relocated to the current uh, site. Uh, unfortunately, the um, engineers and architects who did the original uh, foundation drawings probably could have, uh, and contractors, could have paid more attention to the actual site. And it's a very wet site. And because of it, the way it was constructed and designed was um, probably not sufficient for the conditions that existed. Um, and there's a lot of water in the basement. So what um, the Historical Society has asked us to do is to fund um, historical preservation monies, CPA monies, uh, to help restore the integrity of that building. And I, I just want to let everyone know that that building is being used to house uh, historical archives. So it is a very important um, structure. Um, because of the content in the building. So we felt the uh, commission felt it absolutely was appropriate use of historical preservation CPA funds and have endorsed the um, um, the use of those funds. Um, currently, I think the estimate's up to 160,000, but they're still investigating the potential of maybe having to add scope to it. So um, we told them they had a general approval subject to the final submittal of budget and that uh, we'll review it at that time. So that was um, that was the Historical Society building. We also um, reviewed Aikens Park. Aikens Park, we've relocated all of the granite from the Main Street project. Uh, it, most of it is at Aikens Park and it's lining the trail. 
uh, and it will become the basis for a railing system that um, is replicant of what was there 130 years ago. So the uh, work was uh, carried out um, by Scott Curran and his um, contracting uh, firm. And now we're going to have Mike Whalen fabricate the um, metal rails and um, and um, the um, railings will be um, uh, four by four. So uh, hopefully we'll we'll be moving forward with this in the spring. So I'm looking forward to that work being done. Um, it's going down the list of activity. McFarland Sanger House, uh, the a commission has determined that we will ask the Board of Selectmen to authorize a sale, uh, uh, the solicitation of purchase for that property. We'd like to put it in private hands with a deed restriction uh, to see if there's a private uh, owner that can do something of value with it. We we are struggling with the value for the property um, as is. So um, we're hoping that perhaps we can do it in private hands. We'll, we'll see on that one. Um, and then uh, finally, um, we've uh, talked about the budget for the Historical Commission. And uh, while we have been consistently having a, a small budget just to uh, accommodate public hearings, we are going to ask the town to um, provide us with a historical signage budget of perhaps $9,500. And the purpose of this, and this is something there's precedent, we've had this before, is unfortunately CPC cannot authorize funds for historic signage. So this would be a way to actually uh, improve the um, information available and the designation of historic locations. Um, so that's that's something that we had determined that we'll we'll move forward with. And um, the last item is we are looking to have the town um, certified as a uh, certified local government, which requires that all of the historic boards submit resumes to the Mass Historical Commission. Um, this would allow us to become eligible for uh, additional grants uh, for historic preservation. We currently have the majority of members of the Historical Commission, the Downtown Historic District, and the Woodville Historic District uh, completed uh, resumes, but not all. So we're looking to finalize that, and hopefully that can be done before the end of this year. So that's um, that was our meeting. Um, and. Um, I think we adjourned uh, about 9 p.m. Thank you.